in this problem i am going to explain you how to write down the equation of a rational function if its graph is given so here we have an example of a graph of a rational function we want to write down the equation of that rational function so to do this we need to first uh, find out some you know the key components of this rational function we will write down the rational function in the factor form so the rational function will be of the form fx equal to it will have some factor in denominator also will have some factor in numerator so here we will have some factor we don't know how many factor we need i'm writing at least two factor in both numerator and denominator if we need we will include more factor so here i'm taking a constant a that we also will determine so so now how we put the factor in the numerator and denominator so the first step that you have to do you have to determine the whole if it has so now if we look at the graph then we can see that the function has whole at this point negative 3 comma 5 so this is the whole for the function so so therefore x plus 3 will be a common factor of both numerator also in the denominator so that i'm writing here since uh, it has whole at uh, x equal to negative 3 so x minus 3 i mean x plus 3 will be a common factor of both numerator and denominator is a common factor of both numerator and denominator So, we put in the numerator x plus 3 and also in the denominator x plus 3. Now, we calculate the remaining factor of the denominator. That we can determine just by finding out its vertical asymptote. So, now if we look at the graph, then we can see that the function has vertical asymptote at x equal to negative 2 and also at x equal to 2 so these two verticals line are the vertical asymptote of the graph so from here we will get the factor x plus 2 and from here we should get the factor x minus 2 so these two factor we immediately put in the denominator so x plus 2 and one more factor we need here x minus so these are the complete factor for the denominator now we should move to the numerator now if we look at the numerator then we have already one factor x plus 3 because of the whole now the question do we have any more factor here in the numerator yes that we can determine from the x intersect so we have to find out the x intersect if it has any x intersect now if we look at the graph we can see that it has only one x intersect and it is exactly this point x equal to 0 so x equal to 0 is the x intersect so this x intersect will provide us the factor x minus 0 so this factor we put here x minus 0 now we can see that since uh, you know this uh, so so far the rational function we construct you can see that for this rational function you know or also you can see that at x equal to negative 2 the graph touches the x axis and it turn around so therefore the factor x minus 0 the degree will be even so in the exponent of this factor x minus 0 we will take here even number now 
the we will consider here the smallest even number and that is exactly 2 so we put here square sign got it so why i put here 2 because the at x equal to 0 you know the graph touches the x axis that's why we put here the even number and smallest even number we could take here now the read so this is the complete factor of the numerator now the only part that we have to calculate the constant value a that we can determine if you have any point on the graph you know if you have y intersect then you can easily calculate it i mean using that point so the main point you have to find another point on the graph so here if you look at the graph then you can see that we have a point on it so this is the point 4 comma 4 so since it is passing through the point 4 comma 4 so we can put here in the function so f of 4 is 4 so now in the left hand side in the formula we put 4 so a into 4 plus 3 and then here it will be 4 minus 0 whole square divided by what should we get there in denominator 4 plus 3 and 4 plus 2 and then we get 4 minus 2 so this is 4 now if you simplify then we can easily cancel out this factor with this the remaining part that we should have a into 16 and bottom we should get 6 into 2 equals to 4 now what should we get here we get 16 a equal to 4 into 6 into 2 so we should get here a equal to 4 into 6 into 2 divided by 16 so now 2 in here 8 and 8 into 2 so 2 here we get 3 so a we get here 3 so therefore the finally we get the rational function fx equal to 3 into x plus 3 into x square divided by x plus 3 into x plus 2 into x minus 2 this is the factor form of the rational function whose graph is given here so now if you want you can simplify it and you can write down like this 3 into here x square so it will be x cube and plus uh, you know 9 of here it would be 3 of x cube and then 9 of x square and bottom we should get x plus 3 and then here we get x square minus 4 if you more expand you know the denominator part then you should get here so after expanding we should get here x is cube minus so plus 3x square minus 4x minus 12. So this is the rational function and uh, of the given graph. Now let me go through very first what I did here basically. So we want to write down the equation of the graph of this rational function. I mean you can say the equation and we try this uh, by calculating all the factor of numerator and denominator separately so how we did it first we check do we have any whole of the graph for example here we have at x equal to negative 3 so x plus 3 will be the common factor we put here in numerator also in the denominator and now for the denominator the remaining factor we get from the vertical asymptote that is at x equal to negative 2 and x equal to 2 so 2 factor we get x plus 2 and x minus 2 we put it here in the denominator so the whole and the vertical asymptote will completely give you the all factor for the denominator now for the numerator what should we do we have to find find out the remaining factor by considering the x intersect so here we had x equal to 0 is the x intersect now if the graph cross the x axis at the x intersect then you know the you will take the degree 1 of that factor 
if it touches the x axis you consider the degree 2 so here since touches at 0 so we consider here degree 2 so square i put here so now the the constant term we calculate by taking a point on the graph here we consider 4 comma 4 the point 4 comma 4 and we simplify we get a and we finally get the equation of the rational function so this way if you have any graph of rational function you can easily write down the equation of the rational function thank you so much